Hi everybody, Zika Chofa here. I'm making this vlog for a reason. I have been very busy, very busy, as usual, college and everything. But uh, more importantly, this weekend I had went to Rhode Island Comic Con, and it's the reason why I'm making this video. If the title isn't obvious, I don't know what to name it, so I don't know what it's gonna be. But uh, I wanted to say a few things about conventions themselves. I highly recommend it. And I, I know it's kind of random, but, uh, well, random topic, I mean, but, uh, l let me put it in the background. I, for the past month or so, I have been stressed with college. I would literally go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I would not return any of those nights, by the way, except Thursday. But Tuesday, go to, my friend would pick me up, go to college, go to classes. I would normally be there till like 10 o'clock, waiting for him to come out because he had rehearsal. Go to his house. Stay overnight so that way he can, you know, study, go to bed. No point in driving me, like, all the way to my house and then get me in the morning. Wednesday, uh, go to college, same deal. I think I'd know him be there to 10. I can't remember. It, it's pretty much the same t same thing with Tuesday. Thursday, go and everything. Oh, sorry. Wednesday, I have my radio show. So I go on air. I go on for the classes. If you're really interested, it's 90.7 WKKL uh, at at four to five. Look at me advertising my own radio show, which I don't know is going to continue next semester. Anyway, so that's part of the stress. Also, I have club meeting with the newspaper I go to that I'm digital editor. Uh, Thursday classes, and then I leave somewhat early for flag football, which doesn't. And to like seven. I don't get home till like eight thirty nine, which things are gonna change a bit because I'll be coming home early this the football black football season's over. But it's just a stress of all the college work, being digital editor, making sure the website's up, stories are posted, and this is for the college newspaper, by the way. No big time mainstream big thing of a jig. Not your New York Times, not the Cape Cod or whatever the freaking newspapers are, I don't know what they're called. I don't read them. I don't read newspapers. Anyway, it's it's very busy. And yeah, some people are like, well, don't you have your Friday and weekends and Monday? Shut up, phone! Anyway, yes and no. Friday, I help out my neighbor. I go over, help her out for a few hours. Then from there, I just, I just want to relax. I just want to play a game and whatnot. And then the weekends, I go to my hobby shop. I play magic with my friends and everything like I normally do. Monday, I just make sure everything's working. I do yard work if I need to. I I barely have free time to record, but I record when I can. Like, I have a bunch of videos recorded, actually. Well, of one game, but still. But it's been so stressful. And I've been waiting for Island Comic Con to happen for a long time. And it was exactly what I thought would be. I had a blast. I had a ton of fun. And it it was such a stress reliever. Like the first day, I, I looked around, see what was around and everything, and I decided... Was it on Friday that I did that? Yes. Friday I even got to meet Steve Bloom, which by the way is a nice guy. If you know him for like one famous... Uh, Character voices, you will probably imagine that voice. Uh, it was nice to meet a childhood voice actor, be able to ask a question I always wanted to know for years, look around for merchandise, go to a hotel with my friends and everything, have a blast there, go to the next day, meet Jason David Frank, finally! Sorry, I need to get that off my chest. I always wanted to meet him. Go to a few panels. By the way, I had VIP this year. I had VIP for Rowland Comic Con. Uh... Oh, Friday I also went to see a panel of uh, Robert England too, which I'm I'm moaning that now for a reason. But uh, Saturday was panels, do some shopping, meet up with my friend I haven't seen for a long time. Sunday was kind of the day that was a little more relaxing. I bought one last thing. It was a Dark Souls board game, actually, believe it or not, which I might try to record for. That would probably be interesting. But that won't happen until maybe the winter when I'm at my cousin's or something we'll see we'll see i can't promise anything on that anyway uh that was also 
when I decided to talk to Robert England and told him how he actually inspired me by something he said. I won't go into more detail, but it's just the fact that I was able to meet all these amazing people and relax and enjoy it. And I was told many, many years ago, after when I first went to Anime Boston, that everybody should go to a con at least once. And I absolutely agree. I absolutely 100% agree. You should go to a convention once in your lifetime. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't – don't worry about if you ha don't have enough money to buy merchandise. I brought – I'll be honest, about maybe $250, and I bought everything that I wanted. I found all I wanted. That wasn't even food, by the way. That didn't include food. But uh, I found everything I wanted, got the autographs I wanted, meet the people I wanted, get some pictures of cosplayers. And it's just great. The first time I went to Anime Boston, I thought it was nothing but money. You needed money to go. And no, it was really cool. You met, met some cool people, meet some cool cosplayers. Back then, I only bought like maybe three things. And my budget was like 50 bucks, which wasn't bad. And then the next time I went, well, no, sorry. I went to Ronald Comic Con from first year, and it was an overnight. It was a two-day I spent a night at a hotel that my father paid for. I went with my best friend, and that was even great. I even found comic books that I wanted and everything, which was the one thing I actually regretted. I did not buy any comic books this year, which I should have, but I can't complain. You know what? I, I If you really want to know why, this is probably one of the reasons why. Don't care about the comic books. This is an autographed pop figure from Jason and Frank. It's even sealed up and everything. And if you're wondering, yes, I bought a Yang figure. I bought a Yang figure. I bought the things I wanted. But even even so, even so with... No, yeah, that goes up first. Even with a tight budget, you could still enjoy yourself. Now, pardon me as I'm looking away from the camera as I put back put these back i'm just very proud of it and it's trying to prove a point like I, i'll be honest that pop figure i bought at like newberry comics 12.99 not, not the yang the green range and when i got the autograph they were doing a deal it was normally 50 for an autograph but they were doing deal 50 was an autograph 60 was an autograph and picture and i took that i didn't care about the special deal with like all the images and everything no oh, photo prints and everything. But that was about it. And that made me very happy because you got to talk talk to him, shake his hand and everything. But the point being is you don't need to bring a lot of money to a convention. Like when I went to Ryan Comic Con for my first time, it was an overnight. I think I only had like 60 or 80 bucks. My second time going to Anime Boston, I probably had the same amount. And I actually was able to get a cosplay for that, which I also recommend. Get a cosplay. Dress up. Doesn't matter what it is. And this year was more entertaining because it was my first time getting VIP going all three days. And hotel was nothing really new. I've been in hotels before. But I honestly recommend if you really want a good break from, like, not society, not to kind of more like life, the stress and everything, and enjoy yourself and find a passion, definitely go to convention. I'm not saying go right away, buy VIP, three-day passes. Find a convention you want to go to. Buy a single-day pass. Go to it. See what it's like. If you like it, then buy a pass for the next day. And then you can know what to expect and everything. You might want to look into other conventions and see for that. You might want to just buy a two-day pass and say how, see how it goes and everything. Get a hotel. See how much is spent. And I highly recommend getting VIP. VIP. VIP was one of the coolest things I have ever done. And it's just great. And I think my next convention goal is to have VIP and hope to buy an after party ticket. Because that's 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 a nice goal. And it's really nice. It's something I recommend every single person to do is to go to a convention. It is the best feeling to go and kind of be yourself, nerdgasm a lot, it, it's honestly great to do. And who knows, you might meet someone that you always wanted to meet. For me personally, there were 
two people I really desperately want to meet some someday. Steve Bloom and Jason David Frank. And I met both of them. I was very happy. Oh, actually, sorry. There were three people, three, four, that were there. Uh, Ghost Hunters was there. Jason and uh, Steve were there. And that, that was great. I was able to finally go up to someone that I wanted to meet. It's famous actor, famous voice actor, TV star, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I'm going to let you know. I went up to one of them and I was nervous. So don't think if like, oh, but if I go to a con, I might be too nervous. Everybody gets nervous the first time. Everybody gets nervous when they come up to an actor or anything. I was just shaking and I didn't know what to say to any of them. I just like when I went to Jason David Frank, I was really really shaking and I'm like I'm so happy to meet you. I've been waiting for years to meet you. You are my childhood actor. It's it's just great to meet you. Like I said it just like that. He shook my hand, took my picture and everything. And when I when I got out of line and met up with my friends, I was shaking. Like my hands were like just holding the pop figure. And like, you alright? I was like Yeah, yeah, I I'm I'm alright. So don't worry about that. It will happen. It will happen to everybody. But try to cut uh, try to find a convention. I'm not saying around Comic Con because, I mean, not all of you are in New England and whatnot. But try to find a convention. It doesn't even need to be Comic Con. Like I said, I went to Anime Boston. There's PAX East around here, which someday I would want to go to. I want to go to PAX East. Like, see, I have goals to go to conventions I want to go to because I found them out through Anime Boston. Well, technically, around Comic Con was my dad because I went to Anime Boston and he thought, oh, maybe that's a good idea to get. It was a Christmas present years ago, if I remember. Yeah, no, it was a Christmas present because it was around this time. It was an early one. Well, obviously it was this time because it was this weekend. So, yeah. But no, seriously, though. Go to a convention. I highly recommend it for everybody. If you can even go for one day. One day. It's great. Shut up, phone! But I highly recommend it once in your lifetime. It doesn't even need to be a gaming or anime convention. If you're into cars, there's probably a car convention. If you're into archaeology, there might be an archaeologist convention. I don't know. Do some research. Try to find it. And if you like it, if you like going to a convention on a one day, try to go for a two day. Or even a three day and try to cosplay. Cosplaying would be actually absolutely fun. I had a cosplay that really didn't make a character or anything, but it was fun to dress up and feel different. Like, I'm gonna be working on my next cosplay. It's gonna be an Umbrella Corporation. I'm gonna cosplay it, act it out, and everything. It, it will be a great feeling. You'll meet a lot of nice people, you'll meet a lot of cool people. You, you will meet Deadpools. You will meet Deadpools. Like, I'm promising that. I'm not saying at every convention. Like, if you go to a car convention, you might not see it. But y you know what I mean. Just, I really recommend it. Please. It, you will not regret my words. That if you go, you will have... you. If you go, you will enjoy yourself. You will absolutely join yourself. So until then, like that like button. Subscribe. Leave a comment or two. I don't care. As long as I see you in the next video.